Hey, good morning. I'm Julie Bedanes. It's Monday, February 9th, 2009, and this is the morning briefing, a rundown of the stories we're following on WashingtonTimes.com. As the Senate prepares to vote on the economic stimulus bill, Democrats over the weekend picked up their criticism of skeptical Republicans for overseeing years of bloated spending under President Bush. President Obama will travel to two cities struggling under the weakening economy over today and tomorrow to pitch the plan to the American people. As America focuses on the economy, the foreign policy challenges are stacking up for our new president. From Pakistan's Friday release of a scientist who had sold nuclear weapon technology to U.S. adversaries, to Kyrgyzstan's decision not to renew a U.S. airbase, foreign leaders are testing the new administration. In Australia this weekend, more than 130 people have been killed and at least 750 homes have been destroyed by wildfires. Officials are now saying some of the more than 400 fires may have been arson. Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd described it as mass murder. Coldplay was awarded Best Rock Album of the Year and Best Song of the Year in last night's Grammy Awards, but Best Record and Album of the Year were awarded to Robert Plant and Alison Krauss for their song Please Read the Letter. And that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com and check back later today for your afternoon briefing.